Hey Brian, what's up? Hey, not a whole lot. Well, I just did get the scientific explanation for astrology. I finally, I mean, I sat up for nights figuring out the equations and the theory and how it worked out. Well, do tell. Well, see, well, you know, sound waves resonate in big pipes like pipe organs. And radio waves, RF, you know, they resonate inside. Go a uh, little bit like. Okay, yeah, go a little bit into detail on that. Is it a spiral situation? Yeah. yeah okay, either so. A tubular or spiral. So our DNA, I figured out, is actually a resonator, but it resonates neutrinos, which are particles we haven't figured out. They go through the earth. And I figured out. They're sending the enter the information from the stars to us so we know how to behave. And it's, you know, however your DNA was made at the time you were born, it's very important because that's number one when the, it was, you know, set up, the computer initialized the disk. And then also it matters because that's how your spiral, you know, was formed so your DNA rather than being something inside you that you know program is inside you telling you how to be it's something inside you receiving signals from the stars so that's can you the scientific explanation of astrology can you go into a little more detail and then we'll wrap yeah. up yeah well what happened well first you got to start with Einstein discovered that energy is mass and then John Wheeler from Princeton discovered that energy is information. And so when I did all the equations and worked it out, and you know, with the DNA, you know, molecule comparing it to a RF radio frequency harmon harmonizer, uh, I figured out that the DNA is a, a, a is a you know, takes in the neutrino signal, much as a microphone takes in maybe a sound signal or a guitar picked up also has a coil to pick up the sounds. A uh, microphone has a little coil inside it to pick up things. And in, in a lot of antennas are coils, so I figured out the DNA is an antenna. Our mind is basically the receiver, and our soul is what takes it all in. You know, so what, and, and a lot of people, and what's important is when you're born, some may be rebroadcast that energy differently. Some people are more low key, maybe. So, are you saying that for everyone that was born on the same birthday at the same time, they're going to have a common thread? They're right. And beyond just astrological, it's like down to the science. Right. They can, and that's why the astrology works in the numerology when you check the person's exact time of birth. It's that's coincidental. Why all those people, you know, they might, if it says you're gonna on some date, gonna like say today, it's your horoscope says you're gonna have a lot of distress today, all of them will. If you're gonna have, you're not gonna be able to clean your house and you're getting yes. over an old relationship something all of them are going to have that common thread but it's going to be totally different their lives are going to be completely different in the circumstances and the details well i wanted to one say might be rich, one might be thank you for sharing that do you have anything else to add before we wrap up uh yeah just to just to kind of i wanted to help remind people that on 11 11 11 this year we're celebrating the new thousand years and what happens one year one month and 11 days after that is 2112 December 22nd the resetting of the new 4,000 years or the new four millennia where language and culture will become one but religion will become as many as the souls that roam the earth thank you thanks have a Great day.